This is Ms. Harris with today's lesson, Order of Operations. You often see on social media various problems attempting to test your math skills, but it seems as though no one can agree upon an answer. Yet, there's always one who reminds us about PEMDAS. But knowing the acronym PEMDAS is not enough if we don't know how to apply it. We often see PEMDAS written horizontally, but that's not correct. It's also not correct to simply write it vertically. The proper way to write PEMDAS is to begin writing it vertically, but when you get to the M and D, those go on the same line, and the A and S also go on the same line. This is because multiplication and division have equal ranking. Same with addition and subtraction. Let's take a look at our first problem, six plus nine divided by three times seven. We begin by going through the letters that comprise PEMDAS until we can identify which operation we should do first. There aren't parentheses or exponents, but we do have multiplication and division. Now remember, multiplication and division are on the same level, so we work from left to right. The first operation we get to from left to right is division. So let's highlight nine divided by three. Nine divided by three is three, so we bring that down and then bring down the remaining numbers, six plus three times seven. We're still on our multiplication and division row, so we highlight three times seven, which is 21, and bring down the remaining numbers and operations. We move on to addition and subtraction. Six plus 21 is 27, so the correct answer is 27. We begin and stop with P because we have parentheses in this problem. So we highlight eight minus three. Eight minus three is five. And we bring down the remaining numbers and operations. Now this is where it gets tricky. Once you've completed everything within the parentheses, remove the parentheses and replace it with the multiplication sign. We don't have exponents, but we do have multiplication or division. We highlight nine times five, which is 45. We bring down the remaining number and operation. We have addition, and so we add five plus 45, which is 50. We move through PEMDAS and pause at E for exponent and highlight two squared or two to the second power, which is four. We then bring down the remaining numbers and operations. We move to multiplication and division and highlight five times nine and four times seven. We're going to highlight those at the same time because they don't have any numbers in common. Five times nine is 45, and four times seven is 28. Then we bring down the remaining numbers and operations. We move to addition and subtraction, remembering to go from left to right. Highlight 45 plus four, which is 49. Bring down the remaining numbers and operations. Highlight 49 minus six, which is 43 bring down the remaining number in operation, and then 43 plus 28, 71. Though we write P for parentheses, it comprises all of the grouping symbols, which is sometimes why you'll see it written as G or GEMDAS. Parentheses is your innermost grouping symbol, followed by brackets and then braces. Within PEMDAS, you start with parentheses and work your way out. We begin and stop with P for parentheses because we do have grouping symbols. So we highlight the entirety of the grouping symbol. We then pause because we understand we have to now do order of operations within that larger grouping symbol. We have parentheses, so we highlight three plus five, which is eight. Bring down the remaining numbers and operations. Remember to replace those parentheses with the multiplication sign. Within that grouping symbol, we have multiplication and division, but we work from left to right, so we highlight 14 divided by seven, which is two, and bring down the remaining numbers and operations, and then highlight two times eight, which is 16, and bring down the remaining numbers and operations. We'll then go back to our original PEMDAS, and move to exponents. So we highlight 10 squared, which is 100, and bring down the remaining number and operation. We skip past multiplication and division to addition and subtraction. 100 plus 16 is 116. 
I'll leave you with one for you to try on your own. 25 divided by 5 times the quantity 2 plus 3. Is your answer 1 or 25? The answer is in the description box below. Thank you for joining us at Ms. Harris's math class, creating math nerds one lesson at a time. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. Peace.